Hi everybody, so welcome back to another video. Um, so this week I tested out various festive sandwiches from different places and gave my honest opinion. So I started on Monday and went right through to today, which is Friday, so uh, enjoy. Okay, so it's Monday, the beginning of my week of trying festive sandwiches. Okay, so first day we've come to my second home tesco and we have gone all out so we've gone for the turkey and trimmings one today um they had um three or four various ones but i thought i'll go for the classic turkey trimmings so i am going to give you my honest opinion um if i read it all out before i start eating our chef's recipe layers turkey with sausage bacon sage and onion stuffing and cranberry sauce okay here we go it's very sunny very sunny okay mm -mm. I mean, they say turkey and all the trimmings, and it really is turkey and all the trimmings. It is such a thick sandwich. Nice. Obviously, because it's got the turkey, the bacon and the sausage, which for me, I wouldn't normally go for. Um, I would normally reach for, say, a braai braai sandwich or um, just like with one type of meat in. But I thought I'd try this out for you because I think this is probably turkey and trimmings is the classic and it's what a lot of people would go for so i'm going to have a big mouthful of turkey now so you'll have to excuse me mm. very nice i'm gonna have some water now and i will give you my verdict very nice very meaty if you just want the classic turkey feast sandwich then it's got to be a 10 out of 10 because everything's in there and it's incredibly tasty and it's on a really nice brown bread. Um, that was £2.80 from Tesco, but I think you can get it as part of the um, meal deal as well. So that's a thumbs up to the turkey and trimmings from Tesco if you want a really meaty sandwich. It is Tuesday, um, another festive sandwich. Um, this time I went to Marks and Spencer's. Um, now yesterday, obviously I had the turkey feast um, from Tesco, which was a lot of meat. And I find I just can't eat too much meat. I find if I have anything really meaty or a lot of meat for lunch or dinner, I just I can't have too much of it. So today I chose for Marks and Spencer's the braai and cranberry. So I love braai, I love cranberry. So I think this is going to be really, really good. Uh, is there a description I can give you? Let's have a look. Here we go. Braai cheese with cranberry chutney, mayonnaise and spinach mm, on oatmeal bread. This is going to be good. I think this is my type of thing they did have marks and spencers have got a great big selection um they did also have which i did have the other day um not included in this video i had i think it was the chicken and christmas slaw they call it so basically chicken and coleslaw um but really really nice so here we go for braai and cranberry mmm Mm -mm. oh that's lovely i love braai i think it's probably one of my favorite cheeses and with the cranberry and the spinach it is so so good this is going to take some beat in this one but then this is right up my street the turkey feast yesterday was really good but so so filling um this is more of a lunchtime um sandwich for me this is really really good yesterday was a 10 out of 10 for the turkey feast because if it's a really meaty turkey feast sandwich you're after then you couldn't have got better than that one I mean, s also had a turkey feast um but for today going for um a meatless sandwich braai and cranberry from marks and spencers amazing again i'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10 i don't think i'm gonna have one this week that it's not going to be nice because let's face it, all festive sandwiches are nice. I think by Friday I'm going to be festive sandwiched out. <laughs> um, 
but this is really really good yeah thoroughly recommend this bry and cranberry marks and spencers 10 out of 10 again wednesday um and today i went to sainsbury's and i picked up the pigs under blankets it's called not pigs in blankets pigs under blankets and it is it's just a pigs under blankets with cranberry chutney on malted bread so we've got the cranberry again <laughs> i'm getting really festive sandwiched out i think tomorrow i think i'm gonna give greg's a go and i'm gonna pick up something from greg's um to give my opinion on so that could be i'm guessing i haven't seen the greg's christmas menu but they always bring out like a festive bake or um something so i think tomorrow i'm going to pick up something from greg's and then friday will be quite interesting because um Atticus has the day off school Friday because it's a teacher's training day. So we're going um, to Milton Keynes to do a bit of Christmas shopping. So I will pick something up there that will either be a uh, Cafe Nero, Costa, um, wherever, Starbucks, wherever we go. Um, so anyway, back to today. So we've got Sainsbury's pigs under blankets. So let's see. <laughs> okay. Nice thick sandwich. All the sausage, all the cranberry sauce. Actually, I think this is going to be really nice. So meaty. I forgot it's not just the sausage, is it? Obviously, it's the blanket. It's the blanket. No, it's the bacon as well. It's really meaty. I'm going to be a bit controversial now. I'm not much on this. I don't think this would be one that I would recommend or definitely go for again. Um, it's very, very chewy, but that's just probably how it is anyway. So, um, but again, it's very meaty, sausage, bacon and cranberry sauce. I'm gonna have another bite. Okay. It's okay, I shall eat it because I don't like waste. And that was one of the reasons why i done the video how i've done it so i could have just gone out and picked up five or six different sandwiches on one day and tried them all but there would have been a lot of waste um and i don't like waste i don't like wasting food um so i thought it was best to just get one each day um and then i will eat it for lunch um so my honest opinion on this sainsbury's pigs under blankets It's okay. Um, it's really, really meaty. I know I keep saying that, but it is really, really meaty. And this one in particular tasted even meatier and more stodgy than the turkey feast one I had on Monday. Um, not a fan of this one, to be honest with you. Um, no. So this was Pigs Under Blanket Sainsbury's. I'm going to have to give that an out of 10. For me, that's a four or a five. Um, yesterday's was great. The, I think I had bry yesterday, Marks and Spencers. That was really nice. And even the turkey feast on Monday from Tesco, that was really good. This for me is not doing it for me today. Um, very meaty, very chewy. But if you're one of them that love your meat, really love meaty sandwiches, you know, um, then yeah, you'll love it. But for me, no. No, I think comparing that to the meat when I had on Monday um, from Tesco, the Tesco, the Tesco, the turkey feast beat that hands down. But I will finish it. I will finish it. Um, so pigs under blanket, Sainsbury's. We'll give it a four out of ten. See you again tomorrow. It is Thursday, and today it is the turn of Greg's. Um, a classic Greg's. I picked up the vegan festive bake. Um, because I don't like that much meat, as I've said before, um, a previous day. Um, yeah, um, yeah, so the vegan festive bake. Um, they did have the normal one, um, but this will be a bit lighter for me. Um, it's quite early, um, so yeah, let's, and I've also got to go with it. I mean, Greg's is the best value for money, let's face it. I think for my um, vegan festive bake and a latte it was two pounds 75 so and the cup's quite cute look your festive pick me up which i certainly need today right okay here we go for the vegan festive bake cake 
it's slightly warm not as warm as i would like it but it's slightly warm got the taste of the stuffing coming through again <laughs> So I'm trying to really reverse in this tiny little space next to my car. They hit my car. But right, we'll carry on. They hit. I'm going to save all the spaces. Mmm. Every time. Mmm. This. This is, I'm sorry, I'm so distracted by this person parking. There's so many spaces and they're insisting on parking in this tiny little space next to my car, but we'll roll with it. Yeah, anyway, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. So, so far I've got the taste of the stuff in. I'm not too sure, to be honest, what is actually in it. I, mmm, that's really nice. That's actually beating, I think, every single sandwich I've had this week. It beats the turkey feast on Monday. It beats the the bright and cranberry on Tuesday. What did I have yesterday? All the pigs under blankets didn't like that one. This is nice. If it was slightly warmer, it would be perfect. They must be pretty popular because I actually got the last um, vegan one. So, hmm. Yeah, if that was slightly warmer, I'm going to have to knock off a point because it's getting a bit cold. But if that was at the correct temperature, that is lovely. Totally recommend um, the vegan, the Greg's vegan bestie bake. So, yeah, I'll give that a 9 out of 10 because it's going a bit cold. But I can imagine the flavour. I'm really rambling today. I'm so sorry. I can really imagine the full... Jesus, <laughs> it's all going on in this car park. Someone's really revving the car. Like they've got a racing car. Anyway. Yeah, so 9 out of 10. If it had been the correct temperature, it would have been a 10 out of 10. But yeah, really recommend that. So tomorrow it's going to be, I feel like it's going to be for the finale. I'm going big. Costa. I think it's going to be Costa. Um... I think I mentioned Atticus has got a teacher's training day off tomorrow, so we're going to go go yeah, go to Milton Keynes, do a bit of um, shopping. So I think if it was just me, I would probably go Cafe Nero. That's my favourite um, coffee shop in Milton Keynes. But um, Atticus is with me, and he does like a Costa. So I think it will probably be um, a Costa um, festive product that I try. Um, might be a sandwich. To be honest it probably won't be because i'm sandwiched out um but it's good it's good to try all the different like you know to try the different um festive products that are out there um give my opinion then then you know you can you can go and try them you know i mean everyone's got different taste buds so everyone's different but i'm just giving my personal opinion and so far the greg's vegan festive bake is the winner Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. So it is Friday now. We're in Milton Keynes because you've got a teacher's training day, haven't you? So we're doing a bit of Christmas shopping. And I'm filming on your phone. And I'm filming on my phone because um, today I fixed the battery issue, but um, my memory card's full, so I've got to buy a new memory card while I'm here today. Anyway, yeah, we're going off the subject. So today I have got the Costa Mac and Cheese Pigs in Blankets. It is amazing i think i'm gonna have to say this is the total winner so the costa mac and cheese uh, is my winner out of the whole week and it is so so good a solid 10 out of 10 really nice heartwarming comfort food so yeah hope you've enjoyed this video um, go and try some of the um things that i've shown you and yeah you didn't like see you soon